was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger. Now, first things first, before we go ahead and get started, I gotta go ahead and say thank God for another day and another opportunity. Now, as y'all can see from the looks of the title and the screen, Today, I'm going to be bringing y'all a build that can do everything rare and versatile. You're going to have all the tools in the world to get it done on both ends of the floor. Now, this build is going to be great for all players. Whether you're a rookie or a 2K veteran, I'm telling y'all this is going to be the best defensive anchor catfish build in NBA 2K23 next gen. Now, not only is this build the rarest of the rare, but this is the definition of a versatile center. The best defensive anchor build that can do everything. Now with this build, this is the perfect one to shut down any team and dominate on defense. It gives you everything that you need in a build so that you can play fast or slow. Switch onto almost any type of player while still being able to protect the rim. Now from the gameplay, as you can see, we are literally able to do everything and still dribble at the height of 7-1. Now with all that being taken into consideration, I'm telling y'all, that is really only the start of what this build can actually do. So look, we have the ability to get contact dunks, and when it comes down to the attributes, these are going to be the attributes in which you have the potential to get a 100 plus. The 3 point shot, interior defense, block as well as the offensive and defensive rebound. Now look, if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. And I would appreciate it if everybody went ahead and smashed that like button. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. But do not forget to comment down TG for thank God. And where you're tuning in from watching today. And I most definitely will be hitting y'all back with the response. Let's actually go ahead and get started with what we need to do in order to create this archetype. So today we're going to make it out of the center position. And now when it comes down to the actual body settings, this is going to play a huge factor in order to maintain every single attribute how I made it. So I'm going to go with the height of 7'1". Now when it comes down to the weight, you have to go ahead and put this to 275. Now for the wingspan, I'm going to max this out at 7'11". And then when it comes down to the actual weight, this is going to play a factor with the body shape. So as you can see, we're actually going to be able to unlock the body shape of Burley. This is going to set us up from here. So let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of when it comes down to the physicals. So for our speed, I'm going to go with the 56, 44 acceleration, 95 strength, 74 vertical with a 90 stamina. Now be sure to go ahead and add plus 4 to this area. The numbers will then read a 60 speed, 48 acceleration, 99 strength, 78 vertical with a 94 stamina now honestly on this build i'm telling you i feel like we have everything that we need so far let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of what we're going to be looking like when it comes down to the shooting so for the shooting area i'm going to go with the 78 for the mid-range three-pointer as well as our free throw now with the badges that we get unlocked 18 in total we get agent 3 midi magician Amped, Space Crater, Volume Shooter, also Green Machine, and then when it comes down to Tier 3, I'm happy that we're able to unlock Limitless Range. Now for the shooting, I'm telling y'all, this is only just the surface of what this build can actually do. I'm gonna leave it like this to start out with the offense. From here, let's go ahead and move on to the finishing. So for the finishing, I'm gonna go with a close shot of an 80, 60 driving layup, 80 driving dunk, same thing for the standing dunk with a 73 post control. Now with these 18 badges, the ones that I'm focused on are going to be Limitless Takeoff, Pro Touch, Fearless Finisher, Slithery, I like Posterizer with the fact that we do get it out of Tier 2, Back Down Punisher is pretty clutch as well, but for Tier 3 I'm liking Bully as well as Rise Up. Fast Twitch is another really solid badge to work with. And remember with this build you have the potential of adding 4 extra badges from my career. Now to start out with the finishing and the shooting, the offense is looking pretty solid. Let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of the best part about this build, which will be the defense. Now for the interior, I'm going to go with an 83, 40 perimeter, 35 when it comes down to the steal, 99 block, 99 offensive rebound with an 84 defensive. Now with these badges, being 28, we get challenger, glove, and interceptor out of tier 1. For tier 2, I like box out beast. Chase down artists, post lockdown, and then for tier 3, look, 
All four of these badges will be able to get equipped on Hall of Fame. And that's going to be Anchor, Pogo Stick, and Rebound Chaser. And another badge that really goes handy with this build is going to be Brick Wall. Now as you can see, I did not upgrade anything when it comes down to the playmaking. But if you were paying attention to the gameplay in the beginning of the video, you're going to see that you don't even need to upgrade anything from this area in order to still dribble. Now that probably is my favorite thing about this build. When it comes down to the actual takeovers, we get the sharpshooting, the rim protecting, the glass cleaning, and I'm telling y'all, all three of these are pretty solid takeovers to pick from. Now look, if you want to be the best possible catfish, I would go ahead and first pick Limitless Range Takeover. Now the second one, I would go with Pay Intimidation or of course See the Future Takeover. I'm really going to leave the option up to y'all, but for today, I'm going to go ahead and say See the Future Takeover will be the better one to pick from. Let's go ahead and check out the build to make sure that we made it correctly together. And if you followed every single step, we should be getting these three center comparisons. And as y'all can see, we have created the Catfish Defensive Anchor build in NBA 2K23 on next gen. Now again, I just want to say thank you to everybody who did make it this far into the video. Now keep in mind, once you buy your own attribute boost, that's going to be a plus 5 put towards this build. Now your stats gradually do go up the better that you play. Add in the fact that you will run with a teammate that has on Hall of Fame Floor General. Activating your takeover will give you a plus 10. Now in total, we have the potential to get a 99 plus when it comes down to the 3 point shot interior defense. Block and both the offensive and defensive rebound. Now I'm going to leave the build like this from here. Let's go ahead and check out the badge layout. Now, when it comes down to the finishing area, I'm going to go with Fearless Finisher and Limitless Takeoff, Slithery, and Hall of Fame Pro Touch. Now, for Tier 2, I'm happy that we do get Posterizer. Now, for Tier 3, I'm going to go with Silver Rise Up as well as Hall of Fame Bully. Now, this is what the build will be looking like on the finishing end, but keep in mind we're still able to not only defend the rim, but also finish at the rim. Now, this is definitely probably one of the better defensive builds that I made out of the center position. We have all of the main badges that we're going to need when it comes down to this area. Now, for the shooting, I like Agent 3, Amped, Midi Magician, Space Crater, and Volume Shooter. Now, for Tier 2, Green Machine is another good badge to go with. And to wrap it up for Tier 3, everybody should be picking Core Limitless Range. Now, if you add all these badges together... I think we picked the perfect layout in order to boost our shooting percentage. Now this all comes down to how you see the setup yourself, but for my preference of badges, this is exactly how I would work around with the shooting. Now from here, when it comes down to the playmaking, I'm telling y'all, you really don't need to do much in order to find success with the playmaking area. So as you can see, the only badge that I did decide to go with was going to be Core Clamp Breaker. Now moving on to the defensive end. You can go with Challenger, Glove, and Interceptor. I decided to go with 5 Hall of Fame badges instead. So for those will be Box Out Beast, Chase Down Artist, Anchor, Brick Wall as the core badge with Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser. Now on the defensive end, make sure that you go about this however you like as well as which game mode you're going to be playing. Now for my best interest... If you wanted to, you can go with Brick Wall or Pogo Stick for the core badge. This all comes down to how comfortable you are with the badge setup that you pick. But as far as for the offense and defense, I think we have every single thing that we're going to need to find success out of this build. And keep in mind, you don't even need to upgrade the playmaking in order to still be able to dribble. Now again, I just want to say thank you to everybody who did support and stay around. And if it was your first time coming through... Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Be sure to drop a comment as well of what you thought of today's build and video. I would appreciate it if y'all went ahead and smashed that like button. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family. And last but not least, do not forget to comment down TG for thank God. And where you're tuning in from watching today. So I will definitely be hitting y'all back with a response. But with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.